Hello! In this video I'm going to talk a bit about this um, Pumpkin Hut 3D printed model which I've painted and embellished. Uh, the model is by Kaijai. It is a paid model available on Cults which I've linked to in the description below. And um, I've also provided links to my blog where I go into a bit more detail about um, my painting process um, with some additional still photos of my models as well as um, some videos I made about uh, the materials that I use, so I don't have to go too much into that. Um, so, onward to the painting and embellishing. The first thing that I have to do with my models is obviously tidy them up off the printer. This model printed supportless and it did not need any tidying at all. It was pretty much perfect. So um, I could get straight into priming. I primed the whole thing with a single layer of acrylic paint um, and I allowed that to dry for a day as I always do to make sure that um, the colours that I put on afterwards have a nice um, dry base to stick to. So yeah, um, the next thing I did um, was I started blocking in colour. This model is mostly orange. Um, I had to mix the orange. I realized when I went to go and paint this orange that I don't actually own a tube of orange paint, which is really quite bizarre. Uh, I guess orange is not my favorite color to paint with. Um, so yeah, I, I mixed I mixed my orange. I mix a lot of my colors, but it was just weird to me that I don't have orange paint. Anyway. Um, I blocked in the leaves with green and the vines, um, brown for the awning, uh, grey for the steps, and I think there was grey around the door, which I changed later. And the door is the same brown as the awning here. Green around the windows. Not terribly adventurous with colours, I, I really stuck to kind of natural pumpkin hut colours, I suppose. So yeah, once those were all dry, it was time to apply the washes um, for the shadows. I had to add shadows in under these leaves to give them more definition. Added shadows um, around the door, around the steps. Um, now the most important shadows were put in place to really bring out these crevices on the pumpkin itself. You can see it well at this angle, I suppose. And that was a brown wash, which I just applied um, straight down every crevice. And as it dried, I tidied it up to make sure that it didn't just run down and pool. There are very distinctive lines here because I, I needed the deep shadows to um, then go in and make really bright highlights to give the pumpkin some, some additional shape. Um, because the model is it's really good and there's a bit of texture as well it's not completely smooth and it looks like a pumpkin but to bring that out in paint is really challenging um so that's why um it didn't it, it looked horrible when I when I was putting the, the shadows in but they worked out in the end because I had a plan so yeah dark brown wash for the shadows there it's kind of a dark brown wash everywhere else, um, black for the steps and um, in between the leaves here. Probably should have had more shadow in here, but hindsight and all that. So after the washes were dry and it looked absolutely terrible because the brown wash on the orange just, it looked like mud. Um, I went in with a lighter orange a lighter shade of orange, I started my highlights where I, I went in um, on the peaks of each ridge and started laying down layers and layers and layers. Um, and that's just for the orange bit. Um, for everywhere else, it was a light, lighter green on the leaves. It was a lighter brown on the stem, lighter brown on the door, on the steps, a lighter gray and a lighter brown on the awning um, just to to bring out the the highlights for this model. Um, now the the 
next thing I needed to do was I um, needed to kind of look into the details. There are a lot of really, really great details here. Um, and I, I really wanted to bring them out. Like here, there's little, little hinges on the door, little doorknob. Um, you've got little dents and grooves on the steps. You've you've got this this great the great wood texture on the door, great wood texture on the awning here, great texture on the leaves. There's actually little veins on the leaves. So I spent a lot of time going back and forth and on these vines and things and making sure that that I tidied up all those edges and really made it made it um very clear. Um once that was done I went and I got some gold paint and I put it all over the pumpkin so it's got a bit of a shine to it. Just highlighted very, very lightly in a dry brush of gold. That's also applied around the door jam. It's applied to the wood, to the stem, to the tops of the leaves. Um, there's gold around the windows, which looks a bit green because it's such a thin layer of gold. Um... And then I think I possibly went in with, with some actual metallic green for the door, though, um, because I wanted that to stay stay very green. Um, and that was pretty much it for the paint job on this. Um, as a final little detail, I decided to, to glue some lichen into the window boxes. Um, I was going to put some flowers in there as well, but I just didn't have anything that suited um, so that might be something that I'll add at a later date, but I really like that there are window boxes here because it gives you that, that kind of extra little, um, I don't know, that extra little detail that you can customize in a massive number of ways. It just begs to be embellished somehow. And, um, yeah, that's, that's it for this model. It's really cute, very autumnal. Um, great for for Halloween but it, it also works year round it's quite cute on my shelf and it's like the only orange thing in this room so yes it also made me realize that there's not very much orange in my life um so yeah that's it for this one um bye